We also do things that are more immersive. Can you talk about that? Sure, definitely. I have an example over here. And this is uh, it's an example of our augmented reality. We use the total immersion diffusion engine within SDK as well to, to do AR augmented reality. And what augmented reality is, is the ability to overlay 3D objects into live video. So it's as if you're interacting with them. So if we have this up on the screen here, I'm going to hold up this picture. As you can see, you know, the fish are on this page and they're swimming around and interacting. They're jumping out of the pond and jumping on my stomach, which is always a fun deal. <laughs> but since this is part of the SDK as well, we did talk about gesture. Why don't we actually incorporate that into this thing? So I have a butterfly, a beautiful butterfly on this page. But what I'm going to do is actually put my hand out and the butterfly will fly to my hand. And now I can actually have the butterfly follow my hand. Oh, that's great, right? That's really cool. And of course, I could close my hand and the butterfly will fly back to the page. Very cool. Well, is that fascinating? <laughs> Moore's Law is not dead, and we're continuing to innovate on the PC. That's fabulous and fun. You can imagine those immersive experiences with the natural, intuitive interaction is really compelling. And so we encourage you to take advantage of our perceptual computing SDK and write innovative, compelling, and modern applications taking advantage of that. As a part of that, we have the $1 million perceptual computing challenge to inspire people to develop applications. We kicked this off last year, the $1 million dollar challenge last year. And one of the grand prize winners was from China. Now we're in phase two of this, doing the same thing, encouraging people to participate and innovate with perceptual computing. So we want more and more innovation coming from China, taking advantage of the perceptual computing SDK. So the website is up here that talks about the challenge. I encourage you to go and learn more and more about that challenge and innovate around perceptual computing. In addition, the tools that we offer to support you are on our intel.com software page for you to use our tools. And we have a broad set of tools that you can use to take full advantage of Intel architecture. You can see the broad number of tools that allow you as a developer, again, to get to what you're great at, and that's innovating and writing compelling applications. Our tools are designed to get out of the way so that you can innovate, give you great experiences in that developer environment. We also have the Intel Developer Zone. Both the tools and the developer zone are localized so that Chinese developers can take advantage of these tools in their native language. IDF is all about accelerating developer opportunity and ensuring great success. Bye.